So I'm airing out my tires because I'm going into a very sandy area. I'm actually out at the Salton Sea today to explore the Salton Sea Navy Base. And the reason I'm out here is because this is actually a nuclear or an atomic legacy site. And it's a legacy site because they actually tested atomic bombs here. Now they didn't detonate any atomic bombs here. They only dropped them from very high up just to study the aerodynamics of bombs being dropped from high altitudes or uh, released from a plane into water. There was over a thousand bomb drops just when the Sandia Corporation, which is the company that built atomic bombs for the government and still does, uh, when they had control over this site. So they went and dropped over a thousand dummy bombs here at the Salton Sea. And uh, so there might be pieces of them out here somewhere. And so I'm just out here to explore it and to kind of document it. I'm not really <laughs> planning on encountering any radioactive material while I'm out here. But uh, you never know what you might find because some of these bombs that they dropped out here actually contained depleted uranium. And this is uranium that was depleted of uranium-235, which is what they'd used to make atomic bombs. And so these bombs were dropped and exploded over this area. And so there might be pieces of depleted uranium, you never know. I did read the EPA report here and it, they made it sound like uh, there was nothing to be found, but I'm just gonna have a little poke around and explore this site and see what I find. But I need to air down because half of this base has been swallowed by the desert. And so there's some pretty big sand dunes covering the roads. And so you have to four wheel around them through some pretty deep sand. So I'm airing down to increase my footprint. All right, when you come out to a place <laughs> and there's an unexploded ordnance sign, <laughs> you know it's gonna be a good time. But in all seriousness, uh, if you're out here and you do come across something that looks a little uh, explosive, <laughs> best to leave it alone. It may look like a pretty desolate area, but there's a lot of cool little areas out here that I really enjoy. So let's go out to them. Okay, so right now it looks like I'm at the end of the road right here. Because <laughs> the sand dune has taken over this, but there's a way to just drive around. I just wanted to explore these uh, building sites here. I think the first one is uh, 4025, which I think is over where I'm going. And I'm going to see if I see anything over there. So there's some little footprints here, some desert life. Guard counter's being a little clicky right now. 
Now on the ground here, it looks like there is like debris, like building debris and stuff like that. There should be a building right here unless it was buried, which is very likely. Still pretty much above the background right now. All right, next one I'm gonna check out, I believe is 471 or 4071. There's actually a concrete pad over here. And some junk. I'm not expecting to find anything out here that's actually radioactive. Yeah, it's kind of cool though. They got little pieces of junk out here. Little relics, trash. This looks like glass or plastic. It's been melted. So many people will think of the desert as like a barren wasteland. And it's Really far from that. I mean, there's so much life out here. You just have to really look for it. It's kind of small and hidden. And uh, it's usually a lot easier to track it though. Yeah, I, I wish people wouldn't leave so much trash out here. Like, I don't even know what that is. Maybe part of a porta potty? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks like a porta potty, all right. So this is the 4024 building. Apparently there's also a lot of asbestos contamination around here. So who knows, maybe like some of these panels like this stuff. Yeah, this looks like just concrete, but Looks like there's some sort of like material like on top of it and who knows, maybe it's asbestos. I don't know, I'm not an asbestos expert. But uh, yeah, cool that these foundations are here. I like seeing them. I think it's interesting to walk around on them. Too bad there isn't a building. But uh, I guess we're going to head out to the pier and the telemetry building and check this out. All right, so now I'm out at the pier here at the Salton Sea Navy Base. Or some people call it the Salton Sea Test Base, or it's codenamed Sandy Beach, stuff like that. Uh, I just call it the Salton City, or the Salton Sea Navy Base, and I'm okay with that. So I don't need to be uh, completely right all the time, just kind of right some of the time. Anyway, this is pretty cool. Water is a lot lower than I remember it. I came out here probably, say like two years ago. Water is way down. Well, there's birds in it, which I'm kind of surprised. This water is pretty gnarly. They say you can swim in it, but I'm okay never swimming in this water ever. <laughs> It has a ton of runoff from agriculture, so it's pretty polluted with a bunch of uh, phosphates and stuff like that. And I don't know if that'd really be uh, good for you to go uh, swimming around in. At least it's a nice windless day. So it looks very calm out there. I'm actually kind of surprised to see birds out there, to be honest. But, uh, Let's uh, try and get back over here without falling in. So there's some sort of test equipment out there. Not sure if that's some sort of like long-term weather monitoring or they're just monitoring the, the level of the Salton Sea to see how much it's shrinking. 
It's definitely lower than the last time I went out here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool to come here and just like check this out, see what's going on. I love places that are abandoned and desolate. A lot of history here. Okay, I think last time I was out here, this was how far the sea was in. So it's uh, quite a big difference. Another cool fact about the Salton Sea is that it's actually below sea level. One of the few places in North America besides Death Valley. I think it's like uh, 218 feet below sea level, something like that. Who knows? I'm sure I'll have something up here that says exactly what it is because I can't remember it off the top of my head. It would have been cool to come out to this place when it was operational, but of course back then it was uh, top secret. You know, it was a very restricted area for people to come out to. That's why they actually, I think, had to abandon all their tests because the salt and sea started getting so popular in the 50s and 60s. And so I couldn't really keep this place a secret for too much longer. So they actually abandoned all operations here, I think in the mid 60s, or Sandia did. And then they went and moved to the Nevada test site and continued on operations there in total secrecy. So the Navy originally established this base back in 1942. I think it was after the actual bombing of Pearl Harbor. But then after the war in 1946, the Sandia Corporation, which was a corporation that I believe still does to this day, make atomic bombs for the US government. They took over this area and started conducting tests and using this as a proving grounds for bomb geometry, like bomb shapes. And they never really, or they never detonated any atomic bombs here, but they did drop a bunch of munitions and other actual explosives here to test them out. And there's rumors that they, uh, used depleted uranium in some of their bombs that they dropped here. And so it wouldn't surprise me if you're lucky enough to find some depleted uranium at some of the bombing areas here, like the land target that's inland more or at the sea target that's about a mile out into the Salton Sea. So who knows, maybe we'll get lucky today. like some sort of power building that was here. It looks like it spent some time underwater. Let's see if we can't see inside here. All right. Yeah, <laughs> this place is way lower than it should be, or the floor is much higher. <laughs> That's what I mean to say. The ceiling is a lot lower, even though it's just the floor being higher. But yeah, yeah, there's like electrical panels over here. Yeah, so this might've been some type of power room, maybe. Oh, I know, so it looks like the roof is gonna fall in. It's like, I don't wanna even touch it. Oh. Here. Who knows what that was? All 
Okay, so now we're out here at the telemetry building. This is where they would like film the bomb drops in the Salton Sea. So they have camera pedestals up there. I'm going to show you here in a second that they would have high speed cameras on and that they would uh, use those to track the bomb drops. But this place, I don't know how much longer it's going to be here for. It looks like someone really did a number here because uh, two years ago when I came here, there was only a tiny little hole at the bottom here. Now this looks like someone pounded out this section. And so I don't know how much longer this building is going to be standing. So I'm glad I at least came back here to see this <laughs> at least one last time. Because uh, who knows if I come back out here next year, if it will still be here. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's uh, check out the rest of this. Someone just took this right, right out of there. There was a marker right here, like for coordinates, saying "Do not take." And of course, someone took it. So, yeah, it looks like everything is getting looted around here now. Nothing's safe. This feels a little like walking into an abandoned mine. <laughs> so these are the pedestals that they would have high speed cameras on that would film out into the Salton Sea right here and record bomb drops. So it's here and this pedestal right here, it actually turns. And someone just welded this to the, to this pedestal. This was not here before. Jose, uh, it's like a memorial. But yeah, this place is uh, constantly changing. I feel that these remaining buildings that are here will be gone soon enough. Have to come and see it before it's all gone. lab site following this power line not too far away Well, this looks like to be the pad of where whatever it was, lab Y1. Let me check my notes here. Yeah, building 4030 lab Y1. And uh, I'm not getting anything out here, so looks like they made good with their cleanup as far as 
no radioactive material. Of course, I think the bomb sites will probably be different, but we'll uh, keep looking. I also know that this detector isn't the best job for finding depleted uranium. I mean, depleted uranium is going to go off a lot of alpha and beta radiation, which will be blocked by the soil pretty well. So it'd have to be exposed for me to see it. If I had a scintillator, I'd probably have a better chance of uh, locating some, but I'm just trying to see if I could just browse with this detector and find anything. So as you can see, there's still a lot of leftover uh, infrastructure here. There's a lot of uh, old power lines and communication cables. I think these are all power though. I mean, I'm not an electrician. I'm not sure exactly, but it all looks like power to me. And then all these up here have glass insulators from around 1947. That looks like when they put all this stuff in, 1946, 1947. Occasionally these will fall down and people will just take the insulators right off of them. Of course, it's usually they either fall down on their own or people push them down. Because they're not as strong as they used to be, that's for sure. Still pretty cool. I don't know of a place where you can actually touch power lines and not die from it. <laughs> 